guys, we're back in Vegas doing another, another collab with Jaime Eats and today we went to um, Gordon Ramsay's Fish and Chips, it's really popular in Vegas and Jaime loves it, right? Yes, yes, really good. So we went there, so let me show you what it looks like. There's the sauces, I got um, tartar and some kind of ranch, it's like a mixed spicy ranch, what was it? you know what kind of ranch it was? It's like I a, do not. Chipotle ranch or something, and then this is the fish and chips. You did, did you lemon and there's fries. I got the same, but I got extra tartar sauce and a lot of ketchup because I love ketchup. Those of you who know, you know. I also got some ketchup too. <laughs> oh. And I got extra sauce. You know how I do my sauces, guys. I got extra tartar sauce. Put that down. And there it is, look, at that. look how easy that is, okay? Just slide your paper okay. and you're set. My ranch, my ranch, my tartar sauce, my ketchup, more tartar sauce, because you guys know I love tartar sauce. What do you call this, Karen? Do you have an idea? The smell, is it cilantro or parsley? No, it's parsley. There it is, it's parsley. Parsley, okay. I was going to say cilantro, but... He ate it? It's parsley, yeah. Oh, really? You say it's good for the stomach. I, guess you, I, I, don't, know really, it, I don't know if it's true or not, but... I'm it, having stomach issues, so... <laughs> I am really. Yeah. Squeeze your lemon on the so, fish. I got some chipotle ranch, tartar sauce. And I also got some ketchup. So... I'm excited to try this out. I never went to like a really high classy restaurant in Las Vegas. At least you go to like buffets. So. Got some pepper for my, for whatever. Wherever it lands, it's all good. Fresh are good. <laughs> How many of you guys like uh, the malt vinegar on your fish oh, and you chips? some of that? Yeah. But, oh. I'm not very, very fond of it. I just saw it and I grabbed it, you know, just to show you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm not a big fan of it. One of my subscribers want me to try it, and I did try it one time, and it was okay. I definitely prefer tar sauce over fish. Okay, that's enough. I don't know. Oh, we know we forgot to do a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Let's try it out. Okay. Try the tartar sauce first because sure. that's my favorite for fish. Oh, I love tartar sauce. You guys know I love all kinds of sauces. You guys ready? <gasps> Look at that. See that? You know why it does that? You know why it breaks like it breaks apart? Because the high quality fish, if it's flaky like that, mm. it is a high quality piece of mm. fish. Was it good? The fish is good. Definitely. I know it is good. I can taste it right away. Mm. It is good quality fish. It has this distinct flavor like it. I don't know. It's really good though. I really like it actually. It's still crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. See how it just falls apart? When the fish, I think when the fish actually falls apart like that, flakes off, it's a high quality piece of fish. I think you're right. We're gonna need forks though, because when I eat going on Ramsey, the pieces end up staying in my tartar sauce. So I need a fork to dig them out. <laughs> see, there it goes again. You guys can see that? It's still in there. Look at that, see, look at Wow. It just flakes off. That's good. And for a drink, I got sparkling water. It's um, raspberries and flavor. Mm -hmm. so what did you get to drink? I saw, I didn't notice a guy before me. I forgot. Tasty something juice. I don't know what it was. I started to push the button. I said, you know what? I never tried before. Let me let me grab some. So I just I just I just I just followed the guy in front of me in line. What did he get? <laughs> I don't remember. That's what I'm saying. I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? <laughs> oh, I see. I wanted to get cherry, but I didn't. Cause... I remember the button he pushed, and I pushed the same button. So really? I really yeah. So I'm gonna try that. What does it taste like? Oh, like a fruit punch. Okay, I almost got that. There's a fruit punch option. But yeah. Mm. 
The chips were good. The chips or the fries, what do you call them? Well, I like the fish a lot. I'm gonna try it with this. I think it's chipotle um, ranch dressing. Check it out, see how that tastes. Mm -hmm. Some more pepper up in here. Okay. Your fish is not black. Your fish is not breaking off inside. Inside, yeah. Inside here. See? see? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. See, there it is. <laughs> it's breaking. No, this fish is really, really tasty. Did you see it was beer, be beer battered? Mm-hmm. It was. I think it is beer battered. It is because it's a uh, beer batter is. How can I explain? It's not a thick coating. Beer batter is not a thick coating like like a flour or, or breadcrumbs. Yeah. So like. Um, me and a few subscribers are gonna go to um, this Saturday. We're gonna go to San Francisco. And we're gonna film a one video and. This place is number one fish and chips in San Francisco, so I really want to compare this place to the San Francisco one to see if it's the same, different, better, not better. But the fish is really good. Yeah, I'm yeah. Call. The fish here is no joke. It's really, really tasty. I definitely agree. Definitely agree. But you're paying for it too. You're paying for it. I mean, I don't know because it's on the in a popular spot in Las Vegas, and they can charge more for it. Now, let's. I don't know if the price is different if it was on a regular street. So, three pieces of fish, chips, two tartar sauce, sixteen dollars. I went to San Francisco, I, I had fish and chips. I think it was 17 or 18, but it's at a restaurant. So maybe they can charge more at a restaurant. Yeah, but how big was the fish? How many pieces? Was it about the same? Oh no, that was fish and taco. That was fish tacos. Okay. I have to look at my Hawaii video. Oh no, you know what? I have not done a fish. Oh no, I did fish and chips in Hawaii at like a fast food restaurant, but it's got to restaurant. Obviously it's not gonna be this. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done a fish and chips. Except for the Hawaii video, which but it wasn't like a very good restaurant. So I like these fries. What do you think about the fries? They're really uh, good. Yeah. They're awesome. They got their skin on. The skin is on. I don't know if they cut them there. I don't think they're fresh because I know what French fresh French fries taste like. Like the in-out fries, and I don't really don't like in-out fries, but these are thick fries. I love thick mm -hmm. fries. And I like when they have the, when they leave the skin on. And they're also very crispy. I think. Well, you think they're crispy? Mm -hmm. When when uh the when, when Anna orders fries, French fries, mm -hmm. we always tell them extra crisp, extra uh -huh. crisp. They taste a lot better. You like crispy fries? Mm -hmm. I'm down to my last piece. I'm trying to save it. What you do? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I cook them longer. Mm -hmm. really no, good. they're good. They're good, actually. Let's see who can eat the fastest. Ready? I'm almost done, Karen. What are you talking about? I'm down to one piece. You're sure. One fry. I got a couple of fries left. Because I eat slow, and I, I do, I guess. But I like to enjoy your food. Don't you want to enjoy your food? Honestly, I don't know. I just like to eat. <laughs> You have to eat? I know. I like to eat. <laughs> I think I can taste it. Taste it? Well, I mean, I don't have to eat slow to taste it. <laughs> Let me see. It tastes the same either way, slow or fast. The thing is, when you eat fast, you swallow it in bigger pieces. When you eat slow, you actually chew it down more, and I think it's easier for your stomach to digest. 
<laughs> yeah, they say if you chew more, that it, your stomach works less. Yes. So there is benefit to being slow, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> people that chew their food correctly are skinny people. That's what I've heard. Why? Because it's already it's it's already grounded down so low that when it hits your stomach, it doesn't sit there. Mm -hmm. It dissolves a lot quicker and it exits your body faster. Now, that's my opinion. I don't know, but a calorie is a calorie. They say too. I'm just a knucklehead, guys. I don't know. I just like to talk. <laughs> that's fine. These fries are good though. Mm-hmm. Down to my last piece of fish. I can eat three more of these. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. That batter, I like that batter. The batter is really good. Wow. I should have got extra tar sauce because Frank because this is like a southwest ranch or something it's okay but for fish i think tar sauce is the best option mm -hmm. in my opinion so mm. Mm. i didn't even need it extra i got extra tartar sauce wow That was good, guys. I enjoyed that fish. It's really good. Time to say. Oh, so we went. Where did we go today? Red Rock. We went to Red Rock Canyon. Yeah. So I did a little vlog on my um, camera, and um, if you guys want to see more of how me eat, um, if you go to, if you go to my Care Bear channel, I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, he will be on my blog. So I filmed a lot of him. So if you like him, <laughs> make sure to check out my other um, vlogging channel, Care Bear. And yeah, we had a good time. We took a lot of pictures, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you showed me the Red Rock. Is it called Red Rock? Red Rock. No. Oh. It's basically a mountain and it's red. Red Rock. <laughs> There's a certain reason why the, red, the rock is red. I can't tell you specifically, even though I've been there like four times, more than that. I don't, I don't stop and read the little plaque that they have there. So uh, that's my fault. But it's really nice. Those of you who like the outdoors and you come to Vegas, I highly suggest you take a a tour, a, a drive to uh, Red Rock Canyon. Mm -hmm. Just know in the summer it's really hot. Take a lot of water. So go early. Mm. And it's the summer. And don't come in sandals because if you want to, you're allowed to climb the mountain, the rocks, whatever. So don't come in sandals. I did that one year. I wanted to climb the mountain and I had sandals on. I did it. It wasn't very comfortable because you get little rocks and pebbles. But, um, Yep. Did you go all the way up to the top? No, I didn't go very far because because I I mean I had sandals on. I went I wanted to go higher, but I stopped. I said time for me to go turn back because you don't have a good grip. But, you know I wanted to climb even higher. Did you have you ever been to the top before? No, no, no. Uh -uh. Never. Mm -mm. Is it too scary for you? No, I just don't want to climb all the way up there and then have to climb all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I'm almost done. Karen's still. Okay, she ate her feet or fish. I ate all my fish. Okay. <laughs> so, like Karen said, this morning we went to Red Rock. I did not eat a thing because I knew we were make a mukbang. Me too. I didn't, I didn't eat either. So, uh, this hit the spot. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I felt the same way. I was starting getting hungry at 11 a.m. 
Shoot, I almost fainted at Red Rock. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you eat one meal a day, right? I do eat one one big when I mukbang. Oh, when you mukbang. Like this here is a regular meal. This is not a lot. It's not a lot. Sometimes when I do big mukbangs, mm -hmm. one is good. So I still have to fill one more mukbang with Karen today. So. Where are we going? We're going to Raising Canes. That's my that's our next video. Guys, I can't wait for Raising Canes. I've seen so many mukbang videos. I just want to try it so bad. It's so freaking good. And we don't have that in, my, in the Bay Area. I don't even know if, you know, if you guys are in the Bay Area, you know something similar to Raising Canes, let me know. It'll be interesting to try it out, but we don't have. I feel like you guys in LA have better restaurants. We do. We have a lot of restaurants in LA. We have, we have, no, no, you haven't gone to the small mom and pops restaurants. Those are the ones that, that are. And the Mexican food I see McBongers do in LA, they look so mm. freaking good. Like, I don't know if I can get that in the Bay Area. I mean, if, if I can, I'm not looking, mm. but I feel like LA has really good Mexican food. There's a lot, there's all kinds. Oh, you'll be surprised how much different, different kinds of, it's a variety of kinds of food in there. Small mom, small mom, small mom and pop shops. I mean, they're all over, they are all over. All right, I think I'm done. Um, I hope you enjoy this another Las Vegas mukbang video with Jaime Eats. Uh, don't forget to check out his channel. I'll, I'll leave the link in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.